Hey, how's it going, man? Hola, amigo. Como estas? Guten Tag. Wie geht's dir? Welcome to the fourth and final season of Unity of Command. This one is the Red Turn DLC. So far, the first season was the Black Turn DLC. That's from the as the German perspective from 41 to 42, I believe. And then the base game as the Germans as season two. That's from 42 to 43. And then it's the exact opposite as the Soviet perspective from 42 to 43 in season three. And this is season four. This is as the Soviets again from 43 to the end of the war. Without further ado, let's get to it. As you can see down here, we just have to get a regular victory, right? Is that just a regular? Yeah, I think that's just a... For some reason, it's not... Usually it pops up with a little icon or a little window, I guess, that tells you exactly what you need to get. I think I just need to get a regular victory and I'll get both the advance on Kiev and the lower Dnieper scenarios unlocked. Right now, this is the only way we have Rum, Rum, Rumyantsev, Rumyantsev, something like that. But anyway, I'll see you when we get in there. So the fourth Panzer Armor is exposed to a quick armor thrust. Now that the remaining SS divisions have been weakened by the fighting on the Muse, and need time to redeploy. Try to take Belgorod within several days, and then push towards Kharkov before the Germans can reorganize their defenses. Regular victory in eight, decisive in seven. August 3, 1943, following the cancellation of Citadel, the Soviets take the initiative and intend to push back both flanks of the bulge in order to be able to advance towards in order to be able to advance towards the Dnieper. This we have one air attack. So at Citadel, that's the where is it right here? That's the German word for Citadel, which is the operation of, of the Kursk offensive. That's what I highly suggest you take a look at. Read on it. Up, read about it on Wikipedia or, or whatever you have to do, but just find out about that because that's just an amazing battle. So here's our two objectives, Belgorod and Kharkov. Belgorod, Belgorod says, we capture Belgorod for the final time to open the road to Kharkov. we got to take that out by three. Kharkov, it says, the first three battles for Kharkov all result in our defeat. Make sure the fourth is the final one and a decisive victory. And that one's in five. Here's where the supplies are. We got one on this road right here. We got one on the side. They have three, each one of them on a road. And because we got nice summer weather here, it's going to be hot. Hot in the Russian steppes. So let's take a look again here. This is along this road, right? Okay, so we don't have any bridges up here. No rivers on the side. We have one right here, though. Towards the east of Belgorod. One over here in the southeast of Kharkov. That bridge is right here. I think that guy's on that bridge. Yep. So he's on the bridge. Technically, I think we might be able to... Just out of curiosity, can we push this guy in there? No. Let's undo that, because I don't know if I want to move this guy yet. But we want to make some sort of breach in the line. What do they have? Oh, they, these are new units. This is a... Or it looks like a new icon anyway. Maybe it's not a new tank or anything, but it looks like a new icon. But these guys got Stugs. They're all entrenched. Just that one has a Stug right there. This guy's got a Stug right here too. Those are TDs. Tank destroyers. So they add plus one to the armor. Eight attack and eight defense. That's what it does for this number up on the top. Good old... Panzer Grenadiers, these guys are horrible. You have to be careful with these guys. They got Tigers with them. 12 attack, 8 defense. So I guess the first thing is to see if we can punch through somewhere. Because we have artillery and all these dudes, we're going to do one-to-ones on all of them. Let's pick one dude here. Single them out. There, just like so. We'll push him through, then we'll bring him up. Good, now we have a good breach. We're gonna get massacred if we go against these guys. Let's see if we can't work on this tank. Ooh, that's good, and I did not take any damage from him either. What can you do up here? Beautiful. 
See, when you move these guys with the artillery like this, because that's what that is, that's what that dot signifies, it's an artillery piece. When you move these guys with their artillery, it takes it, it, it removes that artillery from being in place. So you want to attack with them first, then move the unit. And then on the next turn, their artillery will be set up again. And through that process, that's how you, uh, that's how you, uh, yeah, let's push all the way down here. Actually, I probably should have used this on this guy. I want one airstrike on this guy to try to knock that tank out early. Good, and we breached him. So bring him down just to finish him off. Where can we bring him to try to get him in a little further in the battle? Well, I suppose we'll just bring him, put him right on the road here. So come next turn, we can put the fighting on the, onto them. Try to take that on too. That's what we have to take this one, correct? Yeah, we got to take, no, we got to take that by three. So hopefully next turn we can take that on too. Since they're so wide open. Actually, you come here. Now we'll take this guy. Nothing. I don't know how much I want to do that. Because I'm gonna have, I'll have him fully suppressed, but for nothing. You know? For no reason. So I'm not going to attack with him. Bring this guy on down. He's just kind of useless right here. Let's see, now the other thing is they have a supply source up here. Is there any way we could try to break through this line and get at that supply source? Maybe we can do it with this guy right here. We'll back you off, we'll bring you up. Then what we'll do is we'll bring you down, and we'll bring you up here. There we go, push through. Actually undo, you come here. And then you can come over here. Perfect. Now we can get into their rear a little bit and start trying to threaten the supply source. Granted, it's only one out of three, but it's better than nothing. Cut off this one and then um, maybe you can sneak somebody in to try to cut off this one and this one down here. Now what are we going to do on the south side? If anything. We have one supply source here. So we really don't want to... I don't think we really want to move any of these guys here. Because we, we don't want to attack across the river. Because we're going to suffer a penalty there. And if I do move them across... He can come across. And then I'm trying to scramble to hurry up and destroy one of these units. Before he gets to my... To my... Uh, supply source over here. On the south. Or basically on the east. So that looks good for a first turn. Let's see what they do in response. Okay, looks like they're getting some Panzer reinforcements. Good. Now they'll bring him up there, yep. But we suppressed him pretty darn good there, so hopefully on the next turn we can do some major damage to this guy, maybe knock him out even. Gotta be careful about this Panzer Grenadier unit. There you go. Okay, so now they're retreating these guys back. To the other side. You should have stayed on the river, because I, I was in a bad position to try to cross that river. Let's take this guy. Okay, good. We're nice and suppressed. Now let's get across. Now we'll bring you down. You can destroy him. Perfect. Hold you on the other side here. These two guys are going to work on this this other um, elite panzer unit right here. But what you can do... Well, let's see. Can we take somebody else? Yeah. Breached. <clears throat> this guy should be able to finish him. Good. We got Belgorod on two instead of three. Perfect. Now what we'll do... Was I'd rather... Well... Okay, we got two more suppression out of them. 
He's destroyed. Is there anybody else that we could get? That's not necessarily up into the fight. 5-0. That's horrible odds. Have him attack first. We'll have him attack second. Now we're going to... Whoops. That's not what I want to do. There. I want to go like that. Now we cut off this supply source. We'll bring you over one. And then have you attack. Let's take you. Bring you up here. And an overrun. Perfect. Good. Get him behind. Get him behind. So, let's take you. See if we can't knock this guy out. Which we did. Perfect. Bring you around. Take you on over. One to one. I don't know if you want to do that. Maybe we'll take you here. And we'll work on this infantry unit. Yeah. That looks better. I think that was a better play there because we could destroy the infantry unit. He does have a Stug with him, so he is a kind of a an important unit, you know what I mean? We bring you on over. Ah, that's not very good odds. I don't like that. I don't like those odds. This guy's got a freaking... He's got a tank destroyer with an SU-76. That's tank destroyer. I don't know why he's got such horrible odds against this uh, these enemy tanks. Let's bring you across. Actually. Where can you? Yeah. Bring you up and over. We'll bring you over. Bring you over. Bring you over. You over. Good. And we'll bring you just a little bit over to the side. Can we move you anywhere? Yep, we'll bring you down. Bring you over just to protect that a little bit more. Bring you down here. Bring you right here. Looking good. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. More Panzer Grenadiers. The other nice thing is I got all my armor over here. Kind of towards the west of... What is this? Kharkov or is this Kursk again? I can't remember. I think it's Kharkov. But we got all these tanks over here to the west. So I can try to get them down here and grab this one. This one point, And I try to grab this this other one right here. Yeah, I see it. Giving him some steps, huh? I didn't really want to have to do that, but... That works. That's okay. Even if I gotta take losses, that's fine. Cut that off. So now they're not getting any su any supplies from this north one. And this tank can cut off these supplies right here. Which is what he's gonna do since he doesn't have very much health anyway. Get down there and take that one. We're going to start bringing you over here to try to grab... I think it's this tile. Yeah, because it's on the road, so it's this one. Now, who do we not want to focus on? Now it's just going to be a pain, because we're going to have to blast through all these dudes. Yeah.
Ooh, look at that. That's pretty good odds there. So that's what we're going to do. We're going to see if we can't destroy this unit. Good, we got nice and suppressed. Beautiful. Excellent. Bring you down. Destroy him. Three two, three two, zero two. Let's undo. I could probably get you right there. I can't get him over there. One to one, zero one. Work on him. Zero two, two one. Let's uh see if we can't put some work on it. Ah, I don't like that. Let's bring this tank down. Let's blow this guy up. Take this guy out. Keep doing just a little bit of damage so we can get closer to that city. Oh, he's cornered already. Excellent. Actually, I probably shouldn't have done that. Let's back this up. Now let's take you down here. Can you attack? Yep. Three, two. I don't like those odds. Let's bring you out. Let's bring you up. Uh, he's fully suppressed. We don't have anybody to attack him to destroy him. Oh, yeah, we do. This guy. That's fine. Even if they take this guy out, you know, what good does it do? Taking with this unit right here, destroying him, go ahead. You know? I suppose they're always up here, buddy. Just because you take these two on S road or whatever makes no difference to me. And in fact, if they were to actually take this Panzer Grenadier and do that, they're wasting first, they're wasting a turn with this unit when they should be using him to attack the stuff that's north of the city. And second is, they're just bringing him out. If they actually do something stupid and bring him over here, they're just bringing him outside of the battle. So, that's fine. If they want to do that, that's fine. Yes, take that destroy if you can get it. Bring him around the other side. You go here. You stay here. You come up there just to protect that. That looks pretty good. So now we got two of those Panzer Grenadiers out of there. We're threatening this supply source. And they're down to... Th well, they, but they got three very excellent units. They got an elite unit here. This is just a... Oh, they got Nash Horns for it. But this is just a vet unit. This is also a vet unit. That's turn three. I figured that was going to happen. Yeah. Good. I mean, if you're going to do, do that, at least... If you're going to take a hit, you know, hit him back. Okay. Let's work on... Well, do you think we can take this city right now? When do we have to take this thing by? Turn five. We do have two units that are right here. What can you do? Nothing. Nothing. You can get in a little bit closer. Let's see, can you... Uh, well, yeah, you do this. That's fine. You come around. You come up. Ah, oh, come on, dude. I need a little bit better out of you than that. All right. He's got to go. Good. You come around down here, but we'll bring you down. That's it, three zero. That's just gonna knock out a step, right? 
What can we use? I don't really want to use him to destroy him yet. I'd rather use somebody else. Alright, now let's get you out of there. There. Use your infantry to destroy these guys. Don't don't waste your repulsed. How am I repulsed? Don't waste your tanks if you can help it. Let's back him out of there. Can leave him there. Let's see. There's an overrun. So we'll take that overrun. Get a couple kills there. There's a 40% chance of an overrun. That's what we'll do. We'll take that overrun. Move a little closer. 3-0. So, we'll just knock out supplies. Take that, we'll bring you down here. Destroy him. Just so we can bring in more units around the city. And then these guys are in for a world of hurt come next turn. Actually, let's undo that. Let's take you. And just come straight south. Hopefully, if there's any more areas from the drop off, some reinforcements, we just took care of it. Okay, good. Excellent. That's it. We got a brilliant victory right here. Excellent way to start off our, our new season. There she is, ladies and gentlemen. Brilliant Soviet victory. Very, 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 very good. I'm extremely happy with that. Well, look forward to seeing you in the next one. Please like, comment, favorite, subscribe, and yeah, take care, buddy. Bye.